In this video, we cover tips for safely using a ladder for your residential DIY projects. When choosing a ladder for a job, make sure it can reach your desired height without using the top rung or step, can support the total weight of the climber, tools, and any supplies, and is in good working condition. Beyond these basic requirements, there are a few ladder-specific safety tips to keep in mind. Please note, these are general safety tips, and you should follow all manufacturers' recommendations for your specific ladder. A step ladder is any ladder that is self-supporting and is often called an A-frame ladder. An A-frame ladder should never be used in the folded position leaning against a surface. Also, the top cap and the top step are not to be used for standing, climbing, or sitting. Always make sure the ladder has been extended to its fullest capabilities and the middle supports are fully engaged before climbing. An extension ladder is not self-supporting and has two sections that are connected to allow the ladder to be extended in length on side rails. This ladder is intended to be used by only one person at a time. However, it is recommended that an additional person stand at the base of the ladder for additional support. Before climbing, make sure the anti-slip feet are functioning properly and are well seated on a level ground. Do not attempt to move an extension ladder while still on it. Climb down first, move the ladder, and then climb back up. An articulated ladder is a hinged ladder that can change from one style to another. Don't attempt to unlock or change hinge positions while standing on the ladder. Hinges on articulated ladders need lubrication after purchasing and then again on an annual basis. If you have any questions, call Carson Dunlop at 800-268-7070.